doctors are warning of a group of synthetic opioids, which may be even more deadly and powerful than fentanyl. They're called nidazines, and they're popping up in more street drug supplies. According to some data, they're 1,000 times more potent than morphine. Unlike fentanyl, many even may even require more than one dose of naloxone, which helps reverse an overdose. Dr. Alexandra Amaducci is an emergency medicine physician and medical toxicologist and worked on this study, joins us live. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. First of all, what is it about this opioid specifically that makes it so deadly? Sure, yes. Yeah. So this is a class of opioids called novel potent opioids. You may see them abbreviated as NPOs, and they have a different chemical structure than opioids we are used to, such as heroin or fentanyl or morphine. And as you mentioned, in the lab, they are much stronger. They're much more potent than these uh, opioids we're familiar with. And what this study highlights is that they are now in our illicit drug supply. So because they are so much more potent, it requires a much smaller amount to have the same effect as fentanyl and heroin, uh, therefore making overdoses more frequent, uh, more severe, and like you mentioned, may require higher doses or repeated doses of naloxone, which is also known as the brand name Narcan, to reverse the opioid toxidrome. All right, so doctor, you know, we talk about the abuse uh, of opioids, but you know, many times they are created to actually be used by physicians. Are doctors using this drug as, as some part of uh, treatment regimen? No, this is not a drug that is used medicinally or pharmaceutically. This is something they're in labs are always attempting to create new medications. However, this is not for that. This is something that was created and somehow made its way into the illicit drug supply, but it is not used medicinally. That is so interesting. So this is not even used medicinally. You know, how does this potentially change then how doctors, how first responders prepare and react to the resulting overdoses that you'll see? Yeah, this is a huge opportunity for education, right? It's an opportunity to educate the general public that these types of drugs exist and that they're in the illicit drug supply, but also for the people treating patients with overdoses. So this is our, your first responders, your police, fire, EMS, um, and emergency medicine physicians to know that these drugs are much stronger. And so you may need to give repeated dosing or higher than typical dosing of naloxone to get, try and get these patients back. So are we going to continue to see these opioids, uh, these synthetic opioids getting more and more powerful? It's hard to say, right? I mean, we are always behind the eight ball with what is being created in the illicit drug supply. Um, I think that this is, like I said, an opportunity just to keep up with our research and make sure that we're finding what's in the current drug supply so that we can educate the public and providers on how to, how to treat these patients. And my last question for you, doctor. I mean, I think a big question here, we know that this is not being used by physicians, so this drug was created. But the problem is, why create a drug this strong if you're going to end up killing your customers? Or is it just it's so strong, it's so addictive, and the hope is to not kill them, but to just keep them coming back? It's hard for me to answer that. Um, I think that you know, chemical structures are easily manipulated. So this is something that may or may not have been intended to be a pharmaceutical, but like I said, somehow made it into the supply. And can they stretch a supply? Can they make it cheaper? Um, it's hard for me to answer why it's being made. All I can say is that it's very strong and that the general public and providers uh, should just be aware that it exists. Right, yeah, I know. It's something that I can't expect you to answer, but it's just so hard to understand when we, you know, these these drugs are being created that are so strong that, you know, end up killing so many people, it seems uh, to kind of defeat the purpose. Uh, but anyway, all right, Dr. Alexandra Amaducci, we certainly appreciate your time and your expertise. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.